Welcome to Darlington County School District's e-learning top three. Brought to you by the Division of Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment, where we're keeping you in the know of any updates and suggestions for our remote learning environment. Hello, and welcome to our very first edition of DCSD eLearning Top 3. In each episode, we will highlight three updates that teachers should use to adjust and improve their eLearning environment. Today's top three will focus on tech enhancements and suggestions. Number one, creating clear directions for students within Schoology. Number two, organizing resources in Schoology to reduce parent and student confusion. And number three, sharing resources with all key educational stakeholders. Tip number one, creating clear directions for students within Schoology. We have made a few changes to the e-learning template to better ensure that students and parents have a clear understanding of the assignments for the day. The first area that we would like to cover is the agenda. The agenda was created to give a clear focus of the assignments for parents and students. Also, you can clearly outline the tools that are needed to complete the assignments. Next is a quick note for teachers. The purpose of the template was to be a place to house all assignments for students each day. Teachers can create a Google Drive assignment through Schoology using the template. This will automatically make a copy of the slides for your students and more importantly, be the only assignment that they turn in. Teachers need to put blank slides as placeholders for student work. As an example, if you want screenshots or typed answers. The last area that was created is the daily summary. This is meant to be a quick interactive checklist that will help students and parents know what should have been turned in for each day. Tip number two, organizing resources in Schoology to reduce student and parent confusion. For those of you who may be Schoology pros, you probably already had a lot of content in your course. Take some time this week to create an in-school folder and move old assignments there. Then make sure that your e-learning folder is organized by week and by day. Currently in the wrong order? No problem. You can easily drag assignments into whatever order you choose. We are also encouraging you to add a getting started overview to the folder of the day and the agenda to the actual Google Drive assignments. You can never communicate too much. Like John said, Google Drive assignments is the way to go. What we've learned over the past few days, and just a few parent phone calls, is this. The fewer submissions, the better. By using the e-learning template through Google Drive assignments, students can submit all work in one place. Five pages of notes? No worries. Have them add the document link directly onto the slide. Encourage the screenshot and markup tool to add as well. Tip number three. Sharing resources with all key educational stakeholders. When a Google Drive assignment is created, it automatically creates a Schoology Google Drive Assignments folder in the teacher's Google Drive. You will need to search for this folder and share the entire folder with any resource teachers that serve your students, school administrators like principals, assistant principals, CTs, and literacy coaches. And access will also need to be given to the members of the Curriculum Instruction and Assessment Department. While you're there, check the box that says prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. Do not rearrange the folders, documents, or slides that are created for you within the Google Drive Assignments folder. In addition, make sure you add your resource teachers as admins of any Schoology classes with students that they serve. This will help everyone know the work that is being expected of students and then also help with troubleshooting. Need help in maximizing the tools you have available to you? Join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays for our DCSD's Lunch and Learn. Thank you for joining us today 
for our Darlington County School District's e-learning top three. You can find this video as well as other how-to tips and resources on our Darlington County School District e-learning site. Keep making the magic happen for our students and have a great day.